Hey everybody, it's your girl Kara Washington Speaks and look, I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it. Um, I'm sorry I don't have an intro for y'all like I usually do. And so this one just came off the top of my head and to whoever is supposed to hear this, my hope and prayer is that it educate, motivates, and inspires you to become the best version of yourself, okay? I want to hit on using your tools, using your skills to create the life that you want. Let me say it again. I just wanna let you know that there are tools and resources that you have in front of you um, that you may not even necessarily know that you have that can help enhance your life. If you know anything about my story, I started technically in sales in my early 20s because I was in the bartending club, nightclub um, scene. And so when I actually transitioned into my real first sales role in 2018, it's not that my job was super easy because it wasn't easy, but as far as relationship building, as far as being able to connect with people, that was very easy for me to do because I had been doing it for years prior. And so there are tools, skills that you have as a unique individual that you are that you may not even realize that you have, that you can be capitalizing on. Let me say that again. There are tools and skills that you have as the unique individual that the creator created you to be, that you have naturally and uniquely to you, that you may not even realize that you need to be capitalizing on. I am going to say this, and I'm gonna make this video extremely short. I'm gonna to try to keep it under five minutes. Be open to what those skills are. Learn how to sharpen those skills. Prime example, I'll tell you two things off the top of my head I'm very, very good at doing. I'm very, very good at improv, which means I know how to speak on my feet. I know how to get something off my chest very quickly. I know how to be able to think on my feet very fast and very quickly. Number two, I have a very relatable personality. I always find what is similar with me and the next person. That is called basically building relationships with people to find relatable things that allows you to create a bridge of friendship with a person. That is really what sales is all about. You have to build relationships. People have to feel like they can trust you. And so you already know most of my content is surrounded around sales, is surrounded around being able to be effective at your job. But here's the one thing I have learned. When you are strong in skills that make you likable, all the other things start to come together. You may not feel like you're extra good at systems or extra good at other things surrounding um, your job, but if you are good at making people like you, getting people to like you, you will be successful in sales. So, I hate to say it, but if you got it, you got it. If you don't, not saying you can't learn it, but it is really one of those things. If you are really good at it, naturally getting to build relationships, learning how to talk to people, learning how to be relatable and meeting people where they are, sales will be an amazing job for you. Lastly, when you land your job in sales, really think about what your next role is going to be. I have been in the business now for four and a half years, and I have watched people who have been in the business before I got there and they're still in the same role. As a person in sales, you cannot sit in the same role consistently over and over again, because here's the thing, with any job that you sit in forever, you become complacent. After a certain amount of time, you become complacent, you become extremely annoyed, and you honestly do not fulfill your job duties to the best of your ability. So here's a short story. As you get into your entry level role, be thinking about three to six months in where you want to see yourself in the next six months to a year. Think about how long you're actually going to do this job and where you want to see yourself by year two or year three. And use your job to finance your life, okay? And I'll talk about that a little bit more in another video because that can be a whole another five minutes. But Understanding and knowing that the skills that the creator has given you are skills that can help you translate um, things into money and into resources is what will make you a great salesperson and will make you efficient and really good at your job. Okay? Thank you so much, you all, for tuning in and for watching. 
If you think this video may be helpful to somebody, go ahead and share it with them. Go ahead and click like and share. And hey, subscribe if you haven't already, okay? I'm your girl, Kara Washington Speaks, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.